In today's video, we'll introduce how to impose a person's image from one photograph to another. In order to accomplish this type of project, PaintShop Pro must be open in edit mode. To start, select two images. Hold down the control button and use a left click on your mouse to select multiple images. Next, hold down your left mouse button and with a smooth motion towards the center, drag your selected images to the workspace. The first tool to be used is the freehand selection tool. This tool can be selected by left clicking on the drop down arrow to the right of the selection tool. Above the workspace can be found the tool options palette. The tool options palette provides a variety of tool settings and properties. In this case, the freehand selection tool will be used to outline the woman in this image. The selection type will be smart edge, while the mode will be set to add. The Smart Edge setting creates a point-to-point -point line along a selected edging. This type of setting allows for simple and quick outlining across an object. The points must be relatively close or the line will stray to a different edge. If that ever happens, simply press the delete key on the keyboard and the last selection point will be removed. Tracing the outline of the subject cannot be rushed and will require a lot of patience and time. The more that this tool is used in practice, the easier and quicker it will become. Using Smart Edge is great for curved edges as long as the points are relatively close together. Zooming in on the image will help in the accuracy of the placement of each point. Once the outline trace has been completed, right click on the mouse to complete the selection. The outline will display as a selection marquee or little marching lines around the woman. Next, click on the selection menu and in the drop down list, select promote selection to layer. Doing this action will create a separate layer for the subject. The next step is to hide the background layer by clicking on the visibility toggle, which is this little square with the image of an eye. The next tool to be used is the eraser tool. In the tool options palette, decreasing the hardness and opacity settings for the eraser will help for a more smooth and feathered edge. The eraser tool will be used to clean up edges along the subject. This will also require patience and time for this part. Changing the size of your eraser will allow you to get better access in smaller portions of the image. The eraser size can also be changed from within the tool options palette. With holding down the left mouse button and using gentle strokes, the unwanted edges of the subject begin to dissipate, leaving behind a smooth finish. If any portion of the image is accidentally erased, hold down the right mouse button and brush over the erased area, or hold down the Control and Z button on the keyboard to undo the last action. As a tip, after erasing a certain area, let go of the mouse button. This way, if an undo action is required, it will not undo the entire section that was erased. The next step is to copy the subject in order to paste it onto the new image. Left click on the edit menu and select copy. Next, select the tab for the second image, click the edit menu again and select paste as new layer. Now select the pick tool and position the person on the image by holding down the left mouse button over the midpoint and drag to the appropriate spot. Resizing will also be necessary. Drag the outer points to the appropriate sizing of choice by selecting the outer points and holding down the left mouse button while dragging outwards. The next step will be to blend this woman into the image. This will require some of the little boy's clothes to overlay part of the woman's dress. To do this, the image of the woman will need to be made invisible. 
In much of the same fashion that was used with the freehand selection tool earlier, a new selection is created for the low boy's shoulder and arm. Upon completing the selection on the background layer, right click and select promote selection to layer and then name the layer as to remain organized when working with multiple layers. To show how overlaying layers work, the image of the woman will be made visible again. Then hold down the left mouse button and drag the layer for the child's shoulder until it is on top of the woman's layer. This is considered the priority layer. At this point, zooming out shows the full image. Zooming is easy when you use a mouse with a built-in scroll wheel. Zoom buttons are also available just below the menu bar. The same steps apply for the little boy's leg as well. After making the selection, it will need to be promoted to layer. The layer will then be named leg. Make the layer with the woman visible again, then drag the child's leg over top of the woman in the layers palette. Cleaning up the image is necessary by using the eraser tool. Using the same settings will help smooth edges around the shirt and shorts the same way it was done around the woman in the first image. Applying a shadow effect for the child's arm and knee onto the woman's dress will enhance the realism of the image. Select the layer for the shoulder, click on Effects menu, select 3D effects, and click on Drop Shadow. In the Drop Shadow Properties box, the shadow can be positioned using the mouse. The positioning can also be offset by adjusting the vertical and horizontal shift. Attributes such as opacity and blur will help increase the realism of the shadow on the image. Making sure that the preview on image option box is checked will allow any adjustments to be viewed in real time on the image. These same steps for creating a drop shadow is also used for the child's leg as well. Lastly, select the woman's layer and click on the adjust menu. Click on fill flash and adjust the settings for both the strength and saturation. Adjusting these settings will help blend the woman in with the rest of the image. Again, with preview on image selected, the adjustment to the amount of light can be seen in real-time view. Also, adjusting the backlighting will also help with image blending. Click the Adjust menu and select Backlighting. Again, adjust the strength and saturation to give it that perfect blend. Once the image is done, there are several possibilities afterwards with creating stunning images in PaintShop Pro. From using the effects menu to using the instant effects palette, this new image can now be completed in a very stunning and creative way. Don't forget to view some of our other great tutorials here at the Discovery Center. If you have any ideas for tutorials that you would like to see in the future, or just want to tell us how we are doing simply go to the Discovery Center homepage and click on Tell Us What You Think on the right hand side.